You may already be familiar with CapCut Commerce Pro's video editing capabilities, but have you checked out the image editor yet? This is a game changer. If you're an e-commerce business owner, seller, or creator, you've got to get on CapCut Commerce Pro. In this video, I wanna walk you through the platform's incredible image editor. The image editor is so incredibly handy when it comes to creating product images, posters, and social media assets for your business. You can use templates to create with ease or get super specific with your look and feel. It has never been easier to keep up a steady stream of content for your business. Be sure to head over to commercepro.capcut.com to check out all of the features that we talk about in this video. You can access CapCut Commerce Pro right now for free with your standard CapCut account, so there really is no excuse not to try it out. Also, are you subscribed to CapCut's YouTube channel? We post a ton of product updates and tutorials, and I don't want you to miss a thing. Okay, let's head into the CapCut Commerce Pro Image Editor and take a look around. This is the first menu you'll see. You'll be able to type in the width and height of your image or select a predetermined aspect ratio. There are subcategories for social media, marketing, education, and personal assets. So whether you're trying to create an image for TikTok, an email header, or even a postcard, CapCut's got you covered. Let's go ahead and select the TikTok post aspect ratio and start creating. On the left side of the screen, there are a ton of menu options to help you create your post. One of my favorites is the templates tab. Here you'll see a variety of pre-made templates to help you create your image with ease. All you have to do is select the template you want and then you can swap out the image, colors, text, and so on. We'll get into that in a minute. Feel free to use the search bar here at the top if you're looking for something specific. If not, you can peruse through different subcategories like TikTok thumbnails, the most popular templates, sales promotions, and so much more. As an example, I'm gonna select this template to promote my blog post about creating a capsule wardrobe. When I select the template of my choice, it's automatically added to my recents in case I want to reference the same template later. It also loads into my image editor workspace so I can make any changes I want. I'll start by swapping out the header for my example website and post number. Then I'll change the title to match my blog post. Let's go ahead and type in creating your capsule wardrobe. If I wanted to, I could also change the font, size, or kerning, or even add a background shadow or stroke. The options really are endless here. I can also swap out the image by selecting it and then clicking on the swap button here. Then I can either select an image from my computer to upload or pull a photo from my space. I'll go ahead and edit the text here at the bottom and change the year as well. When I click into the background menu here on the right, I can also change the background color of my template. CapCut Commerce Pro has a ton of colors and gradients preloaded into here, but I could also choose colors that match my image or choose my own colors altogether. If you're ever unsure about which colors or fonts to choose for your image, head into the design menu on the left. CapCut has a ton of pre-made themes and recommended colors depending on your image and template. There are a bunch of subcategories here as well, so you can get more specific if you're creating an image for a holiday campaign or searching for something with a different look. To swap out your design colors, simply click on the one you want and you'll be able to see it in your workspace. I think I'm feeling the pinky purple vibe the most, so I'm gonna go with that one. If you ever wanna upload more images to use in your asset, head into the upload menu. You can upload from your computer, phone, or space. I think the phone upload option is so cool. You just scan this QR code on your phone and it'll open CapCut Commerce Pro in your phone's web browser. From there, you can pull images from your library to add to your space. This is just a huge time saver if you're someone who captures a bunch of images for your business when you're on the go. The text menu is where you'll go to, you guessed it, add more text to your image. You can add a title, subtitle, or body text here. This will be completely customizable. You'll be able to change the font, size, alignment, spacing, and more. You can even make your text all lowercase or all uppercase. But if you want a little extra help crafting your text, you can always pull one of CapCut's text templates from here. These are customizable too. You can change what the text says, the size, whatever floats your boat. It just makes it a bit easier because from the jump, you're closer to your finished product. CapCut Commerce Pro is all about saving you time and I think that text templates are a great way to do that. The shapes menu is really cool too. You can add a shape behind an image like a unique shadow or use it as a thought bubble or container, so to speak, for your text. I like to use the lines and arrows to draw my viewer's attention to certain parts of my image. To add a line or any sort of shape to your image, just click on the one you want. Once it pops up in your workspace, you'll be able to change the color of the fill and the stroke. So let's say you want your shape to be transparent in the middle and only have an outline. 
Go ahead and remove the fill color here on the right, and then you can change the outline or stroke color as well as the style. Want your image to be a little bit rounder? You can change the corner radius here. You can also change the stroke's thickness, turn it from a line into dashes, or remove it altogether. The stickers menu is extremely useful for assets that announce a sale, feature a call to action, or just need a little extra razzle dazzle. Here you can add realistic elements like paint smears, clouds, and stones. You can also add graphics to give your image a more hand-drawn look. Check out these plant illustrations. The labels are also great to add if you're trying to highlight a specific number or other element. For example, let's add this blue spiked label and adjust the color to match my image. Then I can head back into the text menu and add 60% off to really draw my viewer's attention to my discounted package. There are so many different sticker graphics you can choose from here. The sky really is the limit, and as always, you can change the color scheme to match your overall aesthetic. I can even turn this mug purple so it aligns more with my image's look and feel. Frames are very useful for changing how many images fit into your asset. There are plenty to choose from here, from social media to Polaroids and everything in between. And speaking of images, if you ever want to add multiple to your finished asset but you're not sure how to arrange them, head into the collage menu. Here you can add your images to a variety of collages. These can be really useful for showcasing a bunch of different product images at once. So for example, let's say you're promoting a sweater that you sell for the holiday season. You can add images of all the different colorways here along with a punchy sticker to show potential customers what they could buy and how much they can save. As a creator, I also use collages to share multiple campaign images in a clean, organized format. If you're a director or cinematographer, you can share stills from your latest project in a collage. There are a ton of ways to utilize these to make really cool promotional assets. So now you have your finished image, but you'd like to resize it for a different platform and don't want to redo all of your hard work. Don't even worry about all of that because if you head over here to the right and click on resize, CapCut Commerce Pro will automatically resize and reformat your image for a different aspect ratio. Simply select which aspect ratio you'd like to go with or type in your own. Regardless, you'll get a preview of your new image and then you can resize it on a new page or in a new project. It really is that easy. Now that you know all the ins and outs of CapCut Commerce Pro's image editor, what kind of assets are you going to create? Social media posts, printed posters, video thumbnails? Comment below and let us know. And if there are any other CapCut Commerce Pro features you'd like to learn more about, drop those suggestions as well. We will teach you about anything you'd like to know. And with that, I will catch you in the next tutorial. Bye.